I would like to continue with uh, some small demos of this uh, uh, Xie or bonus style um, before we go to the next clip on Wild Ball. So please stay tuned. The next, uh, the next demo I'm going to do is uh, greeting cards. Okay, I will paint on rice paper and then mount, dry mounting it on the uh, card. So this is the plan. So I cut roughly the paper with uh, you know, in, into the size of this card. I will use uh, both sides of the cover to do one painting so you can see more clearly, I hope. So I'm going to use this uh, uh, combination brush again and just do a running pick. Um, you can start from the, the forehead just like so, and then the ears, and then a big elongated body. You can use several strokes, you know, one, two or three, until you feel the space. And then the check, the check, the thigh, the legs. Running like that, and uh, so this one I uh, just keep it cartooning kind of on the card. You don't have to be very realistic. And then I dry the brush a little bit with a uh, load with a dark, a little darker ink. Um, if you want dotted eye, you can use dark. I will do the. I have the last, so just use a darker gray to draw the snot. That's the lip of the nose. There's the mouth. Very suggestively. And then um, the, the tail is the movement. So you need to uh, think about that running movement. The tail should be, should not hang down in the running style, running movement. <laughs> and then I got some very dark ink, very, very dark ink. Make sure it's dark. Okay, now I dot the the eye. You can make it bigger. And I'll do the leash. It's a domestic animal, and then uh, this broken or just a flying like a belt, you know. And then a little bit darker color, uh, ink on the indicated the hook. This is a upside down view, like a hook, suggesting after the hook. This ear could be uh, on the other side, so I will darken the forehead to make that a little more clear. Right? You don't have to do the background, but if you want, you can suggest that. I will just do some uh, 
grass. This is the, the grass. And, you know, very suggestively, uh, draw some uh, bamboo, maybe. And indicate the wind, the, the wind, the wind movement go with the, the chi, you know, the Dense and the sparse. It's not just a group and then even it. Pay attention on the dense and the sparse. This is the starting point. It's a very important. Not in the middle, but uh, on the side. You can have one branch, a little bit color, maybe, just a hint of it. Um, it could be the red, you know, just symbolically. Red bamboo. It's a very festival kind of. Also, we make a distinction from the the body of the, the pig, right? Turned to overdoing things. So stop me. I think it's finished. Okay. Um, I think uh, it's done. The signature. You can um, you can write a New Year's New Year's uh, title like uh, um, I don't have a room. I think just a short one. We can just sign on the corner. Right here, you can say, just find a place. I will put uh, the year of the pick because when this uh, video is uh, edited, um, it will be the year of the pick. The year of pig. This to dry. Um, you can mount it right away if you will, but uh, better just uh, let it dry. Um, and then um, I'll do another one maybe. Let me start recording with another. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to do another one, just a half page. So we will just cut this paper into the size of this card. This is the cover. See, when you fold it, 
That's the front. I'm using the Japanese rice paper. Okay. And this one, I do two picks, um, sleeping picks. Just you know, the, 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 because the brush is uh, in black, so I will start with the black one. Just to take advantage of what's in the brush. <coughs> That's the back of a pig. Now I do the, not, uh, the other one. I just add water without adding much ink. The ear and then the forehead. Another ear, I just outline it so you can see a little bit space inside. <laughs> and the face. You don't have to leave room for this one because it's a sleeping pig. Uh, just add water, no ink. Very thirsty brush, add water to get light, wet. Um. Big fat baby. Just make a smear. It will be nice. Peaceful. Or let me just blur that a little bit. Then add a little bit ink, but not too much, to define this uh, snot. And maybe a little bit for the mouth. And uh, not too dark, just darker than the base would be enough ink for this uh, little eye. Just a dash. And then a little hint on the other side. Mm -hmm. That one is uh, buried in the, um, behind. So you don't have to do that. And then you can just write uh, New Year's greeting. Um, we can make it with a little more life by doing a sparrow, a wake up call or something like that. So I use a little bit um, umber or burnt sienna I got here. Just dot the um, See the position of this. The head is a small, and then just uh, the back. And now I use the dark brush again to the tail, the wings, just very suggestively, a couple of dots, not on the head, and then just the beak, the mark on the face. I don't need a little brush to do this belly in light ink. I'll just make wake up a call. So a scene. Wake up, wake up. Okay. And uh, I'll just write um, greeting of a year pick. Yi hai means uh, the year of pick for 2000. 
it's the, the stem and branch term for next year, the new year of 2019. He means uh, congratulation or uh, greeting. Sui means uh, new, new year. Xinhai, uh, no, Jihai. Jihai He Sui. And then just uh, uh, my Chinese name. Yi. Xiao. Hui. Okay. And uh, let me seal it. Sorry for the shaking. I didn't realize the hammer is mounted on this table, so I cannot touch the. Okay, so I just. A small seal. That completes this uh, simple greeting card design, and uh, I will mount it next on this. Uh, Card. So let me do the first one I did earlier first. This is the silicone paper for dry mounting. I cut it already with the, the size. You can use a scissor or, or I use a roller blade to cut it. Okay, just put this film side facing down and then um, using an iron. You plug that in. This step is completely dry, no, no moisture, okay, dry mounting. It's called method B. You mount the supporting, supporting uh, surface, either it's card or, or um, watercolor paper. This is a watercolor paper card, very easy. Okay, let me do the another another car also same time. This is the card I I got years ago. I I won a competition with this company Strasmore. Greeting uh, card design, so I have lots of uh, cards from them. And uh, this one, I have to cut this in half also. I'll just fold it, I think. You can just use this scissors. There we go. It's a little tricky to, to do this because it might stick on something unexpectedly. It won't really stick until you iron it. It's a heat sensitive, but it's kind of uh, ten very tender to deal with. So let me iron this on first. It's like laminate. The card was a transparent silicone adhesive. Okay. Now let's go back to the first one. It's already cooled, and I can peel this release paper that comes with the silicone film. 
to do it from the... Oh, it won't. Let's see. The silicone film should stay. Not... Okay. I think it's not hot enough or something. Try one more. Right. Here we go. So you got a silicone film covered on the card. This is the, the adhesive, and uh, here's the painting. Just place it on. But remember, um, it's best to spray a little moisture because uh, the painting has a wave, a wrinkle when, after you paint it. You want to relax it with a little moisture and you got the water spray. Not too much, just that you will see. <coughs> but here is very important, the tip. Don't spray on this area where you, you're going to use as an iron, the iron pad. Spread somewhere else. You can spread outside. Just like that. So outside this uh, working area. If you got moisture on the on the felt, what happens is you will make it, you know, the in this case it might be okay, but if you use method method uh, um, a, this paper, this backing paper, this uh, release paper on the back of the, the film would get wrinkled. That's what happened. I got calls yesterday from an artist who had this problem. So if you are watching, you will see why. Um, it's really important to keep any, anything away from, any water away from this area. I can feel some moisture there, but I just I avoid that. So you want to make sure it's aligned correctly. Once it's on the activated on the uh, card, the silicone will become permanent. So I use this release paper on top of the painting to protect from dust. Just check if uh, any any wrinkles. No, just uh, keep iron until it dries. Because if you spray water, it takes longer to dry it. You can iron the painting before you put it on the cart on the, on the support. That's actually better. You can. Um, Try a little bit before you put the wet painting on this surface, but uh, I don't have much time, so I just do it in one step. Make sure the margin is all set. I can see some waves because the shape of the iron you may miss some uh, point and um, okay maybe the silicone is not big enough so the silicone could be larger if you are not going to worry about the exact match I think so if the silicone is not big enough you you have little skirt on the margin it's okay it's only a card basically it's done you want, I think you can see that little thing because there's no silicone behind. That's why you can cut it off, but I will just leave it. This way, you can people can tell how thin the paper it, it was, the pa the painting was. Now it's uh, mounted. Uh, if you want a frame, you don't 
you don't want to it today, if you want to send, you have to do that. So this will be a gift for someone if you order stuff from uh, supplies from Blue Heron Arts, you'll get this for free. Okay, just don't um, forget to, to select your gift in the um, card section, thank you card section, uh, you'll get this for free. Let me do another thank you card. <coughs> so this one, I need it to mount on this front. You know, you can you can trim the the painting if you want to match this. But I again, I just give it like a handmade style, so it doesn't matter if the painting is a little bigger. It's, it's it's okay, you can still, as long as the pin is, is flat. Um, yeah, don't forget to spray. I think this is still wet, so I don't need to spray Maybe this area a little bit to make it even. Okay, I just spray outside the painted area. The painted area is already wet. You don't want to make it smear. It's too wet. Too wet. Too wet. Let me iron this first, maybe because it's kind of too wet. So I will iron on on this side, on this corner. A little bit. Try it a little bit. Sorry, you don't see that. You don't have to see this because I want to avoid wet this area. Okay, it's too dry. If you iron too much, you create wrinkles. This ironing will not make the painting um, flat. Spray a little more. Just give it a little moisture. You have to spray a little more. Just to, the first step is to you know, just flatten the painting, but you know, as you can see, ironing won't help to get rid of the mounting wheel. So this would be mounted. You know, okay. I put this release paper back on without the film, right? It's, to protect the dirt and the iron. I just simply, you know, because it's so small, you can just simply leave it on for a minute. That's how easy it is. They use a press machine in the, in the mountain shop with this material. I have it in, um, you know, this has been used for decades by the photo industry. Now we use that for simulate. Okay, very nice. Okay. Um, the next I'm going to broadcast another recorded video on how to paint wild boar or hog.